So we shipwrecked here in the mid 1800s, um, coming over from England, and that was around Duck, uh, somewhere in the vicinity of Duck, and shortly thereafter moved to the mainland and then started farming. Um, small plots at first, but uh, over the years my folks acquired more land and so now we have a farm here in Jarvisburg. Uh, the grapes only started in 2001. Prior to that we'd farmed corn, wheat, soybeans, you name it, we tried it. Uh, and now it's grapes. We tried um, well, I'd say I tried wine um, when I was in college and was uh, grew accustomed to wine when I was at school at Chapel Hill. Um, and my folks, uh, meaning my dad and uncle, had seen some success on Knott's Island with a couple of vineyards there and orchards. And they were interested in trying a different type of agriculture where you could sell the product directly to the consumer. Um, Value-added agriculture, they call it. They say growing grapes uh, anywhere on the East Coast can be challenging. Uh, but there's benefits to growing the grapes in this area, mainly that the soil is unique. It's a well-drained, sandy loam. Uh, there's lots of prevailing winds that come out of the southwest and dry the grapes off, so they never stay damp for too long. And we get pretty good direct sun here as well. The sun's really intense, there's lots of heat near the ocean, um, and the nights are fairly cool uh, because of the cooling influence of the ocean. So it's a pretty good place to grow grapes, all things considered. Well, the cotton gin existed before my family purchased it. It was a working cotton gin um, and closed down after the Great Depression. And it was revived by my grandparents uh, where they sold produce. And they also sold textile products that were made here in North Carolina at mills and factories in the western part of the state. And my parents, uh, along with my uncle, had set up the idea of the cotton gin as a retail store uh, sometime in the mid to late 70s. Uh, and that started out very small, but it's built um, through the 70s, 80s, and it had expansions during the 90s. Uh, and then as we added the vineyard, it made sense to open a tasting room inside the cotton. We export it like, to other counties. We don't get out of the country. Uh, most of our wine is sold right here in Curry Tuck, Dare County, a little bit in Hyde and Ocracoke, uh, and also in Elizabeth City. And we do have accounts further west out towards Charlotte and Asheville, but our main focus is on selling our wines directly to the consumer that's here. We want to pour it for them, talk about it, and educate them personally. Tastings are free daily from 10 to 6 and 12 to 6 on Sundays. There's a free tour every Wednesday at 1 p.m. and that's led by our tasting room staff through the winery. You can uh, sometimes sample wine straight from the tank or barrel. Also visit the vineyard and see the vines growing in person. Learn about the history of the area and how the vines grow and the wines they produce. The wedding website is beachvineyardwedding.com and you visit there and you can learn all about the weddings that we hold here. Our whole packages, all of them include the use of the vineyard as well as the winery and it's all inclusive, meaning you get tables, chairs, lighting, linens, it's all in there. And it's even a rain plan in case it rains on the special day, you can have your whole wedding inside this winery right next to the barrels. It's quaint, it's romantic, um, and sometimes it rains on your wedding day. So it's a good plan to have as a backup.